Hi guys and welcome back to the Minecraft tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to build a B2 stealth bomber. Uh, it's taken me quite a while to get around to doing this tutorial just because it's quite big. As you can see there's the uh, McDouglas uh, MD-11 there, so compared to a commercial plane that is used by quite a lot of airports and things like that, it is pretty massive, so it's probably going to be a little bit of a long tutorial. I've seen a couple more tutorials on the B2 Bomber on YouTube, which the shape is just wrong. Uh, they've been doing just the diagonal ones, but then you get this kind of... the wingspan just isn't long enough on it, so um, my one is, is pretty much exactly to scale as much as I can humanly do in Minecraft, so what you're mainly going to need for this build are black wall buttons, never brick fence, glass, what I'm actually going to do, I'm going to build mine out of white because the black wall doesn't show up very well and neither does really the, the never brick uh, slabs. I'm going to make mine out of mainly out of the quartz blocks because you have these clear squares around them so it'll make it easier for you guys to actually learn from the tutorial. Um, I'm also going to be using the quartz slabs instead of the never brick here. So you guys are going to need black wall and never brick as the main material and I'm just going to be switching those out for those two. Uh, you're also going to need iron bars and glowstone. So let's get started on this build. Okay, so for layer number one, um, I advise putting down the wheels, even if you've got this one in the air, as it'll just make things a lot easier. So just place down a piece of black wall like this, put your buttons on it, and also add one never brick fence, just going upwards. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to count back eight blocks. I'm going to use quartz slabs just to show you exactly what I mean by this. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And now on each side to get these kind of side wheels that you can see underneath, I'm going to add eight blocks to this. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Then this is where there's going to be a never brick fence. There's going to be three of these. This is the center line here. And this is where you actually have four wheels just like that. So that's how that ties in. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight slabs coming off this kind of center line. It's the same on the other side. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then you've got your three never brick fence, and then it's got it like this. And you can also add one in the middle as well, just in case we forget. And then all you need to do to actually finish off this kind of bottom layer and the actual wheels is grab your buttons and put them on the outside of each of these wheels. We've already done the front ones, so it's just these kind of bigger ones here. So just add these on here. Just like that. And now we're going to get onto layer number two. Okay, so for layer number two, what you're going to do is, if you just come to the front, I'm going to be using quartz slabs to do this. You guys, if you want it in the black color, the closest kind of dark slab that we have is the never brick slab. Um, so use that, but I'm going to be using quartz because it does show up. You can clearly sh kind of see uh, how many slabs there is. So if you're at the front just add one slab, again no brick here, and then on the back part going towards the back you're going to add 14, so you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So that's the kind of long run. This is just underneath it giving a shape to actually the, uh, the bomb bays and things like that, that's part of this. Then you're going to come and show, you're going to have two of these showing and then you're going to have 10, so you got one 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10, like that. So you should have two showing on the back and two showing on the front. Then I'm going to come in by one and we're going to have seven. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then come in one again and we're going to have four. One, two, three, four. Same on the other side. So you're coming in by two, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. In by one, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then in by one, four. So that finishes off layer number two, so let's get on to the kind of main part of the plane itself. Okay, so for layer number three, which is still kind of under the plane, this bit is going to be a little bit complicated. Um, but basically what you're going to do is, you're going to go beyond your black wall now, um, but because it doesn't show up so clearly, I'm actually going to be using quartz. So you're just going to be on top of this slab here, like that. So you're directly on top of that slab. You've just got this two here, then you're going to come back and you're going to have two. You have three sets of one, so you've got one, one, and one. So it's just coming on the outside of this part mainly. Um, and then you're going to have a two, so it's going to be out just a little bit like that. And now you're going to come towards the actual plane itself. And then coming in towards the plane, you're going to have a one, so you've got one here. Then you have four sets of two, so you've got one, two, oh, <laughs> three, and four. 
So it's pretty much just outlining again. So on the other side as well, you've got two, three sets of one, and then you got a two that comes outwards. Now you got one, then four sets of two. So you got one, two, three, and then this one will be a fourth. So all you need to do is just come onto the inside, just put two blocks in here. Um, you can fill in this section if you wanted to, um, but for the time being, it might be better just to leave it kind of blank so you know how much room you might have on the inside and you can just fill it in later. I'll just go in inside and show you what I've done on mine um, for the actual bomb bay type it. So I've just got a trapdoor to get in the back and then this is the actual section we're working on at the minute, this bit at the bottom. So you can actually cut out a kind of bay down here um, and then get into the cockpit as well. You've actually got quite a lot of space on the inside but for now if you just leave it like that that gives us the basic shape. Now what we're going to do is we're going to do a load of slabs around it, which are quite complicated and involved. Uh, actually, I've just forgotten. We can bring these ones up. So bring that one up by one, and then you're just going to do a cross pattern with four blocks going around it like that. So same on the other side. Just bring it up by one, so it's on the same level as these. And they're just going to do a cross pattern around oh, with the four blocks of quartz like this and now we're going to get onto a really complicated bit with a lot of slabs just joining this part up. Okay now for the slabs on this part what you're going to do is if you come to the front again you'll be using your uh, never brick slabs just to make sure that you guys have got that so you just have one slab on the front here you have a two so it's just going on the outside then you have four sets of one so you've got one two three and four like that then you've got four coming across so you've got one two three and four just like this. These ones, these gaps here, what you're going to do is you're just going to fill them in with your quartz slab so you get this kind of crazy bit underneath. This is why I've done it in the white because if I show you underneath here you won't be able to see at all but this is a lot kind of clearer. Um, and then we're going to start heading inwards so we've got one, and we've got two sets of two so you've got two and another two and then we've got a one and two sets of two which are right next to it. So you've got two and then two right on the end. So we'll just do the same on the other side as well because it can be a little bit more involved this part. So you've got two and then you've got four sets of one. So you've got one, two, three, four and then a four coming across. So you've got one, two, three and four and then you've got a one so here, one and then two sets of two, two and a two and then a one, two, and you have the two on the end. So all you need to do is just on these gaps, put in your slab just on the upper part of it, just like this. If I can actually get it right, there we go. Right, same on this part here. So that's just for that main body part. So you can already see it's quite complex. Um, and then just on this part, where we've done this kind of cross pattern, all we're going to do is just go around again with slabs this time. So we're just doing it on each of the faces. So there should be eight per one here, and it should join into the main body underneath here. So these are actually the kind of the bit that goes upwards. So we'll just do this on the other side as well. Just like this, just doing it on each corner. Just like that, and that finishes off that layer. Okay, so the next layer is going to be quite difficult, and I think what I'll probably do is actually write, maybe possibly put it in the description. Because uh, we're going to be doing this run, which is a lots of one, one, two, one, one, two, one, one, two. And it kind of has a, a general pattern to it to get to get that kind of curve. Um, so this is going to be quite a difficult bit. So you might need to watch it a couple of times. So what we're going to do is off this front part, you're going to come forwards by two, just to start off like this. And now what we're going to do is you have on this side part, you're going to have one. So you've got one, one, and now you're going to have a two. And we're going to have this pan one one two going back by six times. So we've already got one here. So we've got one one two. Now we're going to have this one. So you've got one one two, which is your second time. Next one 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 two, which is your third time. Next one 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 two, which is your fourth time. So you're basically just grouping this here. So you've got one two three four. And again one one. 2, which is your 5, 1, 1, 2, which is your 6. So you can actually count the 2s to know that you've actually got your one, the right 1s. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, like that. We're just doing the outline of the wing just for the time being, and I'll just tell you to basically fill it in 
um, as it'll just make it a little bit easier. And then all we've got after this block is we've just got two sets of ones. So we've just got one and a one. We're going to do the bit that kind of goes around the back in just a second. It's just getting this main run done. And I'm going to do it the same on the other side. So we've got one, one, two, which is your first one. And we've got six, though. So you've got one, one, two, which is your second one, one, two, which is your third one, one, two, which is your fourth one, one, two, which is a fifth, and then one, one, two, which is your sixth. So you should have six twos. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. And then all we're going to do, just before we forget, is just on this part, just add two ones like that. So that's what we've got so far, just to get that kind of curve. It's a bit more complicated and more involved than the other B2 tutorials that are on, but this is more accurate to the actual shape. And now what we're going to do is, we're going to come in and go diagonal this way. Counting this block, it's going to go four diagonals. So you've got one, two, three, and four. So we're just going to come across that way. And you can see on this wing here, on this completed one, they're going down this way and then it starts to go back in. We're just going to do this it, it basically step by step as it can be quite difficult. Um, and I'm definitely struggling with the teaching part of it. So here we're just going to go diagonally towards the center of it by four. So we've got one, two, three, and four, just like that. And then the next part, what we're going to do is we're going to be coming this way. So we're going to be going towards the kind of center part here. So we're just going to go one, so not counting this one, we've just got a one here, there we go, one, and then we got a two, then one, one, two, and then an extra two. So it's very difficult to teach this bit, but basically what we've added, we've had these four ones going across here, we've got one, two, one, one, two, two. So we'll do the same on the other side. So we've got one, two, one, one, and the two and two. So again, one, two, one, one, two, two, like that. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do this part that goes out again. I'm just trying to show you guys what we're doing. So we've done this part going around to here. Now we're going to go out, in, and then out one final time. So I do apologize that this part is really, really complicated, but there's not too much I can do about it. So we've got four sets of ones now going towards the back, so you've got one, two, three, and four, and then we're going to go inwards, this time an extra four, so you've got one, two, three, and four, so I'll just go through exactly here, so we've got one, two, three, four, going this way, then we're going in, and we've just added four, so we've actually got five showing, so you got, if you count this one that's kind of the joined one between this run and this one, you've got one, two, three, four, five going this way. We do it on the other side as well, so we've got one, two, three, and four, four, and then when we're going inwards, we're just adding four, so we've got one, two, three, and four, just like that, so that's what we've got so far. Now, just to finish it off, this, all we're going to do is we're just going to go diagonally, and just keep on going diagonally until you go one out of this part, so we're just going to keep on bringing this, and it should join up, hopefully, if we've done it right. So there we go, we've done it correctly on that one. So then that gives us the actual outline of the B2 bomber, as you can see. And this is more accurate than the other builds I've seen people have done of it. So what you can do now is just grab your black wool of, I'm using the quartz of course, but and you're just going to basically bring it up to all of these parts here and just kind of cover up. So you can leave this landing part. I actually just went straight over it. I think I just joined from this part in here. So just kind of join them all together and just hide all these gaps and then we'll get on to the next section. Okay and then for the actual cockpit what we're going to do is just off this front part we've got to go back by three uh, we're going to have a gap of three sorry so just put down a couple extra blocks going across this back part we can cut it out later on so you can have one two three and then on the fourth one you're going to have a piece of glass then you're going to have diagonally another piece of glass then two so one two Behind this you're going to have 10 pieces of quartz, or not quartz, black wool for you guys. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Then come in, you're going to have 2, and then you're going to have another 2 like this. So all of these parts that you can kind of see on the outside, 
you can just fill these ones up and go across them completely solidly like this. So just fill these in. Um, I also advise underneath the glass actually putting these parts in as well. You can leave this kind of side part in if you wanted to, it's really up to you. So we just do the same on the other side. So you've got one, two pieces of glass, ten behind this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then two like that. And just fill in these parts here. Just filling up all of this part. So I'm grab it there. Nope. And then again, right underneath this glass part here, you can just fill this in. You could also, if you wanted to, fill the floor in because if you're down here, you can't actually see out the cockpit. So I usually put in a bit of a floor here. So then you've got the cockpit there. So that kind of creates the main, that main kind of section here. We're just going to go around with slabs and around that kind of main section, and then we'll get onto these. Uh, we'll get onto the engine part here, and then we'll just finish it off the last part of it itself. So let's do it. Okay, so with your slabs, come onto the front. We're just going to go on the front of these parts. You could, if you wanted to, leave them open. Um, but on the actual cockpit itself, on you can't really see out too much. So I'll just use the slabs on the front to actually kind of do that. So you've just got these 1, 2, 3. And then this one here is going to be 13. In total. So you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And that's just more. Uh, it's just one more uh, than 12 here. So you've got 13 there. So it's over by 1. Then you've got 1 two and then just one on the back and in this gap here you've got a slab so same on the other side here so you've got one 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 two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve thirteen one two and then you got one there put in your slab like that this creates the main body i'm actually going to finish off this part first and then do the engine parts because it might just be easier just to finish off this section okay and then on the roof part just on top of this glass you're just going to have one one and now you're gonna have eleven. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Then you're gonna come in, you're gonna have one, and then just two to cover up this gap here. Let's do the same on the other side. So you got one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Come in for two, just on this part here. Oh no, for two for one, sorry, just like that. And then all you're gonna do is grow gonna cover up your black wool and you'll just be coming in just on the top part of this. And just completely filling in this roof like that. So that gives you the actual roof of the B2 bomber. Uh, you can also, if you want to, I'm just going to double check to see where I've put in my trapdoor. And I've also put in some more on the top here. So I'll just double check that now. Okay, and then right on the top, you're just going to leave two of these and then have nine. So you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. And this is where I put in the trapdoor. So I just put in the trapdoor just on this part here, and then I put a ladder up. The actual back part, so I actually have my ladder going. Oh, not there. Get rid of the light. What you can actually do as well, because you've got these slabs in here, is you can actually take out. I'm just gonna knock through this part here, just so I know exactly where they are. You can actually just knock out those four blocks there. Grab some glowstone, and this could be where you could put in your lighting. So there's an idea for that, or you can have it going the other way, or you know, it's kind of up to you how you want to do it. I've just done block glowstone like that, so you've actually got your lighting in the roof, which is a bit better actually. I haven't actually got that on mine, uh, but that seems pretty good. And then put the ladder up the back. I think I pretty pretty much filled in this section uh, completely solid behind this with the black wall. So there you go. So you've got that then. So that's the main actual kind of cabin part for it, so now we've just got the two engines to do and we're done with this build. Okay, and for the engine part we're going to do is you can have three blocks back, so you're going to be one, two, three, and this is where your first block is going to be. Ooh. So, you've got three of those slabs showing there, you're going to go back by seven, so you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, go across by two, and then you have another seven like this. So you've got this kind of gap like that, I'm just going to do this basic shape on the other side as well, so you've got one, two, three showing, and seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two across the back, and then you've got this seven here. What I then did is I had two pieces of glowstone here with two iron bars, and then came over the top with the never brick slabs just to kind of cover up this part here, and just goes over the top like 
that there. So now you've got your engine bit there, I'll do the same on the other side as well. You could even move this back as well, that might look a little bit better. It's really up to you what you want to do. This one, there we go, so. I'll give you the choice of it, which one you want to do, if you want to have it move back a bit, or if you want to have it on the front. I actually prefer it move back now. So I'm going to move mine back by one. Just like that. And then just to finish off this one, what you're going to do is you have slabs on the outside. Like this. And there's going to be two here. There's going to be slabs on the upper part here. Um, so this is actually where they're actually getting, you know, you've got the air intake on this side and they're coming out at the back so it goes a little bit smaller. So just do the same on the other side as well. You've just got these ones going across the side and two and two here. These ones are slightly raised up. That comes on the back. So you've got those looking like that. And that finishes off the build. So I'll just show you exactly what I've done on the inside and I can also show you an kind of alternative type thing you can do. So this is what you guys should have with the black and also with um, the never brick as well. As you can see, it does kind of stands out a little bit better with the with the white, which is why I did the entire tutorial with the quartz. Um, if I just show you guys the interior, it's pretty simple. I've just got that ladder that I've got in here. This is where you go onto the floor. I've just put in these kind of simple bomb type things. Um, what you can also do, and I'll show you in that in the in in the one we've just built. As you can put in trap doors in the bottom part, so you can actually have it kind of looks like it's got bomb bays, or you can also just cut these out and have TNT and have you know buttons going across the side. You've got quite a lot larger space to do that. And I've just sectioned off a part of the wall. Um, of course, on my one, I haven't got the actual you know the glowstone in the roof, which is why it's a bit darker. I've had to put in a couple of torches, but you guys have got that now. Uh, just buttons, levers, chairs, those kind of things. So I'll just show you exactly what I mean by the bomb bay part. So you can, if you want to, let's go over here. There we go. So, oh, if I can get in, there we go. So you've got this kind of large area. So you could, I think I had mine get up to here. Possibly, or it might have been one more block back, but it's really up to you. I think mine was possibly one more block back, but I'm not too sure. But all of this part here, you've got where you've got the slabs. If we just go down, you can see where we've got the slabs here. Um, you've actually got more space than this one. I think because I built the other one uh, with the kind of interior in mind, it's kind of a bit more difficult. But you can say take out one, two, three, four, five of these, put in your trapdoors like that, and on the other side as well, put in trapdoors. Um, another thing you can do, just get rid of these is if we had, uh, hopefully this doesn't go like my Super Fortress tutorial, you could also have you know, your TNT over these kind of gaps so that when you do set it off, it then falls down. Um, so you can have that and then you can of course build up the back wall here and have a button on it. I'm not going to do it just in case I blow it up. But there's a couple of ideas for you guys. So. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this tutorial, if you have make sure you comment, like and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.